All right. Upper body burnout. All you need is some weights. I have two different um, kinds, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Squat down and up just to get that heart rate up a little bit. And add the arms, pull back as you come up. And hold it up tall, we'll take those arms up and down. Hold it up tall, squeeze up, pull down. If you were with me on Sunday, you know that we had to cut out a whole round of circle push-ups. So we're going to make up for it today. <laughs> Bring those hands out in front, open and close. And two circles forward. And circle it back. All right, I want you to go into a march or a jog. Pumping those arms. Today's class is Tabata-ish style. Tabata-ish because we're doing 25 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Alternating two moves until we do them each four times. All right, you keep going with your march or jog. I'm going to show you round one. We're starting with circle push-ups. So hands are wide here. You go down and around. Second move, you're gonna bring your hands together in the middle in a diamond shape, and then take your elbows out. Come on down when you're ready. Circle push-ups, rotating clockwise in three, two, let's go. Down and around. Exhaling as you straighten. Woo. Halfway there. As low as you can go while maintaining your plank. Woo. Exhaling up. And rest. Bring your hands into the middle in that diamond shape. Plank position, let's go down and up. So your elbows are going out wide. Abs are in tight. Whew. My abs are kind of sore from yesterday from all the twisting we did. <laughs> Exhaling up. Whew. Almost there, y'all. Low as you can go. Rest, widen that group again. Now we're rotating counterclockwise. <clears throat> Circle push-ups. Let's go. Down and up. Squeeze up to the top. Whew. Come on, how low can you go in that circle? Whew, almost there. Come on, keep going. And rest. Back to our diamond grip. And form that diamond with pointer and thumb touching. And let's go. Elbows go out. Modification is always just to take out some range of motion. As long as you are bending that elbow, you are building up to that full bend. Woo. Five seconds. Come on. Squeeze up. And rest. Widen that grip back to clockwise rotations. How are your shoulders, y'all? <laughs> and let's go. Down. And around. Whew. 
Chest and shoulders. A little bit of tricep. Should be talking. And rest. Back to our diamond grip. You ready? Let's go. Elbows out. My knees are sliding on the carpet. <laughs> Almost there. One more good one. Rest. One more time for each. Counterclockwise. You got this. Let's finish this one off. Wide grip. Circle around. Woo. Squeeze up. Oh my goodness, how's that chest, y'all? Finish it off. So close. Rest. Diamond grip one more time. Woo. 25 seconds left to work in three, two, let's go. After this, we get a little rest. preferences to keep that back safe and stable <sighs> because I love your shoulders the next round is shoulders because they don't hurt at all after those push-ups right <laughs> all right first move one weight at shoulder height press it forward pull it back second move I'm going to a little bit lighter weight for this we're going into a Y press so at 45 degree angle get ready Let's go. Forward press. The whole time we're doing this, just be thankful that we're not doing a steering wheel. <laughs> I mean, you could if you wanted, I guess. I don't want it. Not today. <laughs> and rest. Wide press. The heaviest weights you can do safely. Let's go. Head of the weight up. So I prefer to kneel with this because then I can make sure I'm not swinging my hips forward. You want to keep those hips still right underneath your shoulders. Eight seconds. Woo. And rest. Back to the forward press. Wait at your chest. 25 seconds. Let's go. Press. Pull back. Right at shoulder height. Making sure to keep that neck nice and long. Woo! Y'all look strong. Halfway. Squeeze. Finish it off. Come on. Rest. Back to the Y raise. Ooh, Vanessa, I like the back of your shirt. Let's go. Squeeze up. Slow and controlled on the way down. Right to shoulder height. Slow down. Halfway. You're gonna fight against gravity. Show who's boss. And rest. Are we halfway? Yes, halfway. I was hoping for a second that we only had one more. We have two more. But we got it. 
Exhale forward. Keep it up. Nice and tall. Right at shoulder height. Woo! Come on. Three. Two. Back to the Y raise. Let's go. Squeeze up. Roll down. Keep breathing. Ooh, abs are in nice and tight. Ten seconds. Ooh, I'm off. Finish it off right here. Rest one more time for each. <laughs> me. Wait up. Let's go. Squeeze it forward. Press. Halfway, y'all. Come on, last one. And rest. Last 25 seconds of shoulders as the main mover. <laughs> Let's go. Raise it up. Squeeze. Halfway. Control it. And rest. Ooh, grab some water if you need it. Our next round is biceps. We're starting at 90 degrees. 20 seconds of top half curls. 20 seconds of bottom half curls. Are you ready? Grab your weights. Three, two, top half. Let's go. Up to your shoulder, halfway down. Keeping that neck nice and long. Good. Ten to go. Woo. My right bicep is burning, but my left is not. <laughs> I guess that means I work them unevenly at some point for us. <laughs> now go all the way down, and we'll go halfway up. Exhale up, let's go. Whew. Which one's harder for you? Both. <laughs> Halfway. Nice long neck. And rest. Whew. Back to the top half. Lift that neck out if you need to. Halfway. Curl it up. Squeeze. Woo. Now it's starting to get a little bit harder, isn't it? <laughs> Depending on what weight you have, you can always go one weight, two hands if your weight is a lot heavier. Rest. Bottom half, all the way down. Curl it up. Stop it halfway. Really focus on that nice long neck. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Abs are in tight. We're halfway. Woo! Are you burning yet? Three, two. Rest. That's halfway through our biceps round, y'all. Back to top half. Halfway up. Curl it up. Let's go. Woo! As things get harder, we're going to try and scrunch that neck up. So try to avoid that. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Last eight. 
Oh my goodness, last five, come on. Squeeze. Rest. Overhead extension. Weight up, elbows in, tap, extend. Tap that weight on your upper back. Exhaling up. Abs are in tight. Squeeze those hips under your shoulders. Halfway. Woo! How are your shoulders? I told you they were done being the primary mover, but they're assisting the rest of the class. Rest. One more time for each side extension on that other side. Let's go. Woo. Squeeze. So keeping that shoulder down away from your ear. Halfway. Come on, finish it off. We're almost done with tries. Three, two, one. Rest. Overhead extension. One more time. Arms up. Let's go. Dip. Extend. Tap that weight on your shoulders. Elbows stay nice and tall. Keep those hips in line. Woo, time to go. Embrace that burn, y'all. Five. And rest. Every time I dip my weight down, it was like teasing my ponytail. <laughs> we have one round to go, y'all. Supporting yourself on the opposite leg, so if not kneeling, you're just... Leaning down on that knee, triple row. Three pulses and then go down. Then I'm gonna switch to my lighter weight for the fly. It's our last round, y'all. Grab your weight. Support yourself on that opposite leg. Three, two, triple pulse. Two, one, release. So just squeezing that shoulder blade in. Keeping that neck in line with your spine. Woo! So you're looking a couple feet in front of you. Five seconds, come on. And rest. Stick with whatever weight you can do. My form gets sloppy if I go to that 15, so I'm dropping weights. Slug in that elbow. Squeeze that weight out. Whew. Squeeze. Still pulling that shoulder blade in. Leading with the elbow out. Five to go. Rest. Same side. Triple row. Grab your heavier weight, and let's go. Three, two, one, release. Woo! Squeeze it back. We got this, y'all. Last five. Woo! Three, two, rest. Reverse fly on that side. Three, two, let's go. Slide in that elbow, squeeze it out. Woo. We got this, y'all. Halfway. Then this side is done. Last five, come on, squeeze it out. Control with that muscle. Rest. Let's switch sides. Triple row on the other arm. Supporting yourself on the opposite leg. And let's go. Three, two, one. Release. Woo! Keep those abs in tight. Keep squeezing. 
we're halfway. Finish it off, three, two, one. Now the reverse fly on that side. Slight bend in that elbow. Lead it out, let's go. Squeeze, release. Keeping those shoulders down. Halfway. Come on, squeeze. And rest one more time for each on that side, then we are done. That is 50 seconds of work left, y'all. Triple row. Let's do it. Squeeze. Exhale as you pull. Pull that shoulder blade in. We're halfway. Come on, finish it. Woo. Last five. And rest. Woo. Relax. Woo. Stick those hands in front of your body. Round that chest, around your shoulder blades forward. Woo. And lean to one side. Oh, that feels so good. And the other. Take one hand, arch it over. And then lean forward. And let's do the other side. Arch it over. And down. Take your hands behind your back, press them down, nice long neck, opening up chest and shoulders. They did a lot of work. <laughs> and open up your palms, thumbs down, pulse it back. And one arm across your chest. <laughs> And one hand up, bend it down, pull it back. And let's hit the other side. And up, bend that elbow back, pull. And relax. We're going to go down into a child's pose. Press your weight back onto your heels. Walk those hands out in front of you. Make sure that lower back is good. That's completely all flat. Walk those hands out as far as you can. And bring one foot out in front of you. And then rotate towards that leg. And switch legs, rotate to the other side. Whew. And relax those legs, nice big inhale up into the nose. Hold right here at the top, press those hands up, belly button in tight. Exhale down, one more deep breath. And we made it. I will see y'all Thursday for lower body. We got to even it out.